got one. Oh, hello boys and girls. It's really lovely for you to join us today and hear our Bible story. I love this wee game, you know, trying to catch the wee fish and Micah really enjoys it too. And in today's story, we're going to hear about how Jesus tells some men who are fishermen, not that they're going to catch fish, but that they're going to be fishers of people. Come on and I'll tell you a wee bit more. Boys and girls, I wonder what a disciple is. Do you know? Well, a disciple is someone who follows a teacher or a leader. We still use that name today for people who follow Jesus. That means that they realise that Jesus is God's son, that they want to change their lives and follow him and obey his teachings. The disciples we're going to find out about today, well, they lived at the same time that Jesus was on earth. I wonder how Jesus called them to be disciples. Come on, we'll find out. The Bible says in John chapter 1 that John the Baptist and his disciples were together as Jesus walked by. John said, Behold the Lamb of God. John knew Jesus was special, that he had come to be a sacrifice to save people from their sin. Two of John's disciples heard and decided to follow Jesus. Andrew, one of the disciples, was so excited he went to tell his brother Simon. No wonder! He told Simon he'd found the Messiah, God's son who they had been waiting for. Simon joined Andrew to find Jesus and Jesus gave him a new name, Peter the Rock. You see, Jesus was going to make Peter a strong church leader. The next day, Jesus was going to Galilee and there he met Philip. Come, follow me, he said, and Philip did. Then Philip found Nathanael and before you know it, Nathanael also started following Jesus. Wow, Jesus wants people to follow him. He can change people's lives to save them so that they can also be his disciples. Well, when Jesus got to the Sea of Galilee, we read in the Bible that he met again the two brothers, Andrew and Simon Peter. They were fishermen and they were fishing and casting out their nets. Well, Jesus said to them, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Jesus wanted them to leave their jobs, leave everything and follow him. Instead of catching fish, they would be learning from Jesus and sharing the brilliant message of his good news. Did they think twice? No, straight away they left everything and followed him. Then Jesus saw two other brothers, James and John. They were fishermen too and getting their nets ready. Jesus called them and immediately they left their boat and their dad to follow him. You see, they were even prepared to leave their family to follow Jesus. So already, boys and girls, we find out lots of people who've come to the Lord Jesus and followed him. There's been Andrew, Simon Peter, James and his brother John, Nathaniel and Philip. And all these men have given their lives to the Lord Jesus and they want to follow him and become his disciples. They knew that Jesus was God's son. They knew he was worth following because he brought them hope. They wanted him to change their lives and they wanted to live for him. Let me tell you about someone else in the Bible and his story is found in Matthew chapter 9. And we read there about a man called Matthew who became a disciple. Now Matthew was a tax collector. No one liked tax collectors. They took money from the Jews to give to the Romans. Sometimes they were dishonest and they kept some of the money for themselves. One day Jesus was passing by Matthew's booth. Follow me, he said. Matthew got up, he left everything and he followed Jesus. The Bible tells us he went to Matthew's home. It seemed that Matthew had invited lots of people and he wanted them to meet Jesus too. You know, Matthew's life completely changed because of Jesus. He left his old life and was so excited he could wait to share the good news that he'd found out. Boys and girls, I wonder, do you follow Jesus? Are you his disciple? The Lord Jesus loves you so much. He came to die for you. He came to give his life for you so that you can follow him. You know, following Jesus is the best decision that you can make. And perhaps you can think about that even today if you haven't done it before. 
perhaps you are a boy or a girl who has already decided to follow Jesus and you're his disciple. Boys and girls, you should never be ashamed that you're a disciple of Jesus because you have the promise of eternal life and that you have a wonderful message to tell other boys and girls. You can tell them that you are Jesus' follower and you have an amazing hope that one day you'll be in heaven. Jesus lived a perfect life and he died to offer forgiveness to everyone who wants to believe. And you can have that too, boys and girls, if you haven't already done it. Wow, it's an amazing message to be Jesus' disciple. Have a great day and thank you so much for listening. Bye. So, today in your pack that you should have received, you'll find two fish, some beautiful coloured ribbon in the colours of the rainbow, an eye, and some stickers for the end. So, you don't have two fish because this one is going to go on top of this. This one has some sticky back on it, so once you peel that off, you'll be able to stick your finished woven fish on top to hold it tight. So this one has already been sliced for us and you can see there where you're going to start weaving. So pick a nice colour and just start to weave your colourful fish. What colour do you want? Uh, we do I some want, green? No, I want red. Okay. So if you start weaving in, so if you've ever done it before, just go in and out. In and out. You can get someone to help you because it's a little bit fiddly. Mummy. Well done. And then when you come to do your next colour, then you do the opposite. So we'll show you that as well. So just take your time. And now pull it up nice and tight. That's it. And smooth it out. Now you pick another colour. What colour do you want next? Mm. You want this in purple? So this time you do the opposite. Well done. Okay, so we're going to keep going here and finish off our weaving and we'll see you back in a wee second. Right boys and girls, great weaving. So we can give you a wee tip to make it easier and to make it very neat. Once you have your ribbon threaded through, pull it really tight and turn it over. Now this is the side that nobody is going to see, so you can use lots of sellotape and it'll stick it down nice and tight. It also helps you when you're weaving the next thread, the next ribbon, that it doesn't get stuck. So that's your finished piece. So this is the, the piece then that you're going to take off the double sided sticky and we're going to stick one on top of the other. Okay, and press it down really hard, and there you've got your beautiful fish. So what's it missing? What's it missing? It needs an eye to see in the, when it's swimming in the ocean. But it looks very cute. Oh, is it really cute? And here are some lips. So we're going to put these on. I think these lips have been cut the wrong way, so we're going to just make them fit. And give them lovely big, lovely blue lips. 
Now, if you're going to stick these on to the tail, and at this stage too, you can add anything to it. If you have other bits of um, tissue paper or ribbons or you want to hang it up or you want to colour it in, just add those bits yourself and make yours really unique. But that is your craft. I think it looks really nice. So see how you do with your lovely fish. And good luck. Bye.